let us look at another example of drawing the network diagram. We have been given activities from A through H for a project along with their immediate predecessors. Now activity A does not have any predecessor so activity A would be the starting activity of the project. So let's start drawing the network diagram. So we will first draw the start node. Let's say this is the start node and from this node we will draw activity A. So we have completed activity A. Now let's see which all activities are dependent on A. So we have B and C which are dependent on the activity A. So let's now draw B and C. So let's say this is the ending node for activity A and from this node we will then have activities B and C emerging. So we have completed B and C. Now activity D is dependent on both B and C. Now let us draw the ending events for B and C. Now D is dependent on the completion of B and C and B and C are emerging from the same event. So if we draw something like this where there are two events and both B and C are starting and ending on the same events then we will be out of compliance with the network diagramming guidelines. So we can't do this. So what we can do is we can draw a dummy activity from this node to the node which is the endpoint of B and then have D start from the node which is the endpoint of B. So let us try doing that. So let's say we draw a dummy activity and then from this node here we can draw D. So this way D is dependent on the completion of activity B as well as completion of activity C. So here we have completed drawing activity D. Next is activity E which is dependent on the completion of C. So let's draw that. Let's say this is E. So we have completed E. Next is F which is dependent on D. So let's draw this. So here we have completed F. Next is G which is dependent only on E. So let's draw this. So this is G. So here we have completed G. Next activity is H which is dependent both on F and G. So F and G. So we can draw the ending node here for both F and G and H will emerge from this and this will end in the finish node. Now we can number these events So this is the network diagram for the project given to us.